Hello guys and welcome. Today we want to talk about the progress indicator control. So what is the progress indicator control? Well, it's just a control which shows the users that a progress is happening in the background or some process is completing. Please wait. So this can be used in a please wait dialogue, in a splash screen or in other cases where you want your users to know that a process is underway and they may need to wait or they may need to continue with what they are doing using the application remembering that a certain important process is completing in the background in our video series we once talked about this progress indicator control this is this imitates the windows progress indicator which used to be the windows progress indicator in fact hence the name win but now we have this progress indicator it's a different flavor so that it can spice up the ui development and your ux experience so by default this indicator will not run because the feature that runs it it's set to false it's called the auto start property if this is set to true it will run automatically when the form shows up so if you're creating a splash screen or you're making a please wait dialogue you may need to set this auto start property to true in court or you may set it to true the moment the form shows this will run and you can set it to true or when the form is disposed this will said will be set to false and then the form will be disposed correctly so we have some few properties here we can change the progress color by default it's a shade of uh, blue we can change it to we can change it to black and we can also change here the circle size we can set this to one now these are big circles or not five now these are small circles by default it's set to nine the size of the circle it's say 2.5 we can also change the uh, background color, of course, but we encourage you to set it to weight is, for example, it's white. Uh, in some cases, it can be transparent depending on the background of the form, or it can take the background color of the parent. But if it's different, well, you can just set it to the same color as the parent so that it gives a better impression so let's run and see what we we get so far we've made some few customization under appearance we can see that this is the these are the few uh, behaviors that we have in another behavior of course we have set the auto start to true the default animation speed is 75 and this can be changed to any value so let's run the application and let's see how this progress indicator control works remember we have set the auto start property to true so it's it's running when the form shows so when you are using uh, a splash screen to display some background work being completed or the please wait dialogue to achieve the same purpose please try to use this progress indicator with flavors we have this and we've also talked about the win progress indicator so you can choose which one you like and they both have this auto property value set to true in this instance but by default it's set to false they have it set to false but in this instance we have set it to true choose which one is best for you and uh, which one suits your your overall UI and and try to use that they all have they all share the same features as you can see here this is the circle size of 0.9 and this one is the circle size of 1.5 we can change this to 1 point uh, to 2.5 as you can see the circles are a bit bigger we can also resize it as well the auto start property remember is set to false by default it is the property as you can see which runs the animation which shows up when the form loads that can be set uh, in court or it can be preset 
by you as the developer when you are making the UI. So go ahead and use these progress indicator controls. We have different flavors, so you can choose which one suits your use case the best. Thank you so much, guys. I really appreciate the time you are taking to watch these um, videos. Thank you so much. We know you are busy developers. Thank you, thank you, thank you for setting aside time to watch these videos. And I'll see you in the next one.